Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to do the 1911 detail strip reassembly. So we're going to go ahead and start by taking this completely stripped down pistol and putting together the sub-assemblies. Now I'm going to start with the mainspring housing here and I'm going to get all the parts for that. And we'll go ahead and take our hammer and the hammer pin and we're going to use this as a base that we can apply pressure to to compress this mainspring. Now in the other video I did this, I took it apart by taking and uh, using the thumb safety to take and apply pressure and see it's just that easy to be able to compress that. And this is a much easier method so just those two pieces together on a bench or a flat surface gives you a nice way to compress that if you have to take it apart. So we'll go ahead and set that over to the side. Now the next sub-assembly we'll put together is the magazine catch. And we'll put the spring together. And now we're going to grab our combination spring and use the end of that, this little piece right here, as a screwdriver to put this together. So now we can go ahead and start to assemble our frame and we'll go ahead and grab our plungers and we'll put those in to the plunger tube and then we'll take it and we'll put our trigger in we'll put our magazine catch in while we're here and we'll use our combination spring to take and put that back in place so now we can go ahead and put our disconnector in and once we get the disconnector in we'll put the sear in and make sure our disconnector is in the correct position. Now that that is there, we can take and use the trigger to lift this whole assembly up so we don't have to use a toothpick or anything to pick that up. It works pretty good right like that. And we'll take our spring and put it in. Now we'll use our mainspring housing to retain that spring. Now we'll put our hammer in and grab our hammer pin and there we go. Move our hammer forward, grab our grip safety, return our hammer to its correct position, grab our thumb safety. Now we're going to use the magazine follower or at least I like to use that to push that over to the side so that will retain that. Put it back into place. Now we'll go ahead and put our hammer back to its upright position. Oops, what did I do there? Here we go. Okay, now this is the most difficult part right here is putting in this retaining pin for the mainspring housing. Now, you could take, I suppose, if you didn't have an edge to do this on, and use the firing pin and your slide with a good firm blow to put that back into place, but I would only want to use that as a last ditch effort. Now this right here, I'm going to move out here to the edge of my bench, and I'm going to use the weight of my body on the bench ledge to try to push this pin back in. And there, it's almost all the way in. I'll go ahead and use my firing pin to put that in. And now we have the frame put together. Okay, so we'll set the frame over here to the side. Now that we have that put together, we need to put our magazine together at this point in time. But we still have our slide apart, because I like to use the firing pin or the extractor to get this spring back in the correct position so our magazine will function correctly. Okay, that's together. Now we can start to reassemble our slide and the first part in is going to be the extractor. Then we'll go ahead and grab our spring, make sure our spring is on the right side that actually retains the spring onto the firing pin. And Now we'll go ahead and put our 
firing pin stop in and we'll use the slide stop to hold or push the firing pin down to get that into place. Now we can go ahead and grab our guide rod, our barrel, and our recoil spring and we'll put this together like that. Go ahead and put our slide on. Oh come on. There's our barrel link. Get it in the right position so we can grab it with a retaining pin. Okay, we'll go ahead and put our barrel bushing in. Go ahead and hook our recoil spring cap back on. That's together. Now we can put our grip panels on and our screws in as far as we can go with fingers. And would I try this on a normal pistol, one that didn't have a finish that was pretty much gone? I think the answer for that is no, but if you were in a situation where you had no tools and you had to work on your pistol for whatever reason, it can be done completely stripped apart. So this is how you do it with no tools. There might be a few better methods, but this seems to work good. And we're almost done here. Get this other grip panel on. And we're two turns away here, it looks like. Okay, and then the casing, just to snug that down. Seems to work. Alright, so there you go. The 1911 detail strip reassembly without any tools. Alright, hey, thanks for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.